The Chinese Navy's Type 075 amphibious assault ship has been the center of attention since the first ship was commissioned. However, recent internet rumors suggest that two more ships of this type will be built, bringing the total number to six. Is this a necessity of strategic needs or redundancy under the iteration of technology? In the context of the 076 amphibious assault ship has been gradually unveiled, this issue has triggered a wide range of controversy. As China's first amphibious assault ship, the Type 075, of which four have been built since the launch of the first ship in 2019, is designed to continue the classic architecture of the traditional amphibious ship with a full load displacement of about 36,000 to 40,000 tons. Type 075 adopts a design combining an all-access deck and a docking bay and can carry 30 helicopters, four air cushion landing craft, and more than 60 armored vehicles to form a three-dimensional delivery capability. It's Type 300, 82-3 coordinate radar has the same origin as that of the 054 frigate, emphasizing basic air control and amphibious command functions. Similar to the positioning of traditional amphibious assault ships such as France's Northwesterly class and the U.S. WASP class, the Type 076, launched at the end of 2024, has created a brand new paradigm. Full load displacement exceeds 50,000 tons, adopts double island layout and electromagnetic catapult system, and its deck floating design makes its aviation operation area exceed that of the U.S. class amphibious assault ships. Equipped with S-band double-sided active, phased array radar and integrated radio frequency system, Type 076 can not only catapult J-35 stealth fighters and attack 11 drones, but also assume the task of regional air defense command. This quasi-carrier design, so that its combat effectiveness far exceeds the traditional amphibious ship, and even have a medium-sized aircraft carrier air and sea control capabilities. The core difference between the two types of ships is reflected in the division of labor, 075 focus on amphibious assault quantity, emphasizing the rapid delivery of battalion-sized units, 076 focus on the system node, quality, through the extension of the air combat power control radius, as the U.S. military will be the U.S., Class amphibious assault ship transformed into a lightning aircraft carrier. The emergence of the 076 marks the Chinese Navy began to build high and low with amphibious warfare system. The current controversy focuses on whether the 076 type should continue to add 075 type construction at the time of mass production. Supporters believe that the type 075 has high maturity low cost, and can quickly expand the amphibious fleet in the short term to cope with the demand for force density in hotspot areas such as the Taiwan Strait. Referring to the logic of quantity suppression in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, more Type 075 S can improve the success rate of the first wave of landing. In addition, Type 075 and Type 071 dock landing ship synergy has formed a standardized tactics. Short-term maintenance of the stability of the system has practical value. However, the opposing point of view, that the development of naval equipment to follow the minimization of technological differences, principle, 076 type electromagnetic catapult, integrated power, and other technologies have matured, so that the 075 type part of the design has revealed the intergenerational gap. For example, the 075 type deck lack of external drift cannot adapt to the future of shipborne unmanned aircraft group combat. Traditional mechanical drive system is also difficult to support high energy weapons on board. More importantly, the shipbuilding industry's production capacity and funding is not unlimited. If the resources are put into the 075 type, is bound to slow down the progress of the mass production of the 076 type. Hudong Zhonghua shipyards are currently building 003 type aircraft carriers. 054B frigates and 076 type. Capacity allocation has been nearly saturated. From the system effectiveness, a 076 type integrated combat power is equivalent to about 2.5075 type. Its electromagnetic catapult daily average sorties up to 80 to 100, far more than the 075 helicopter delivery efficiency, carrying J-35 fighters combat radius of 1,500 kilometers, is straight, 20 transport helicopters three times. This means that 4076 type with 4075 type formation of eight ships, its control range and depth of strike, will far exceed the number of 075 type increase. The U.S. Navy has 10 amphibious assault ships and 21 dock landing ships in service with a total tonnage of 900,000 tons, supporting its global force projection. China's current 13 10,000 ton amphibious ships with a total tonnage of about 390,000 tons, although the world's second, but only 40, 
3% of the United States. This gap is not only reflected in the number, but also in the functional structure. The U.S. military amphibious ship with F-35B landing capability, while the 075 type is still lack of fixed-wing aviation warfare. The emergence of Type 076 is trying to reverse this situation. Its 50,000-ton hull can carry 40 aircraft of all types with electromagnetic catapult to achieve a ship dual use, both as the core of the amphibious group but also into the carrier battle group as an auxiliary strike platform. This multi-mission adaptability makes it more strategically resilient in scenarios such as South China Sea Island control and Western Pacific anti-intervention. In contrast, the Type 075's functional singularity makes it difficult to integrate into higher-level combat systems. It is worth noting that the Chinese Navy is not pursuing an amphibious fleet size equal to that of the United States. The difference in geography and strategic objectives dictates that area denial is prioritized over global presence. The current 4075 has been able to meet the East China Sea the South China Sea direction of the basic delivery needs, and the mass production of 076 will focus on improving the battle-level air control and long-range strike capability. This, quality for quantity, path, and 055-type destroyer to replace the 052D-type logic. Some of the views put forward to the current 075 type of medium-term upgrading, such as the addition of phased array radar or electromagnetic catapults. However, technical feasibility analysis shows that the cost-effectiveness of this kind of transformation is extremely low. 75-type deck structure cannot withstand the installation of electromagnetic catapults forcibly transformed to cut the hull. The complexity of the project is comparable to the new construction. Its power system is also difficult to support electromagnetic catapults of the demand for high energy consumption. In contrast, the U.S. Army's upgrade of the WASP class is limited to the addition of F-35B adapted equipment, which does not involve structural modification, which reflects the limitations of the basic design of the Type 075. A more realistic direction of upgrading is at the information technology level, replacing the new data chain system, expanding the drone control module, upgrading the anti-missile soft kill system, etc. These improvements can be made without significant modifications. These improvements can enhance Type 075 system integration capability without significantly altering the ship's structure. For example, installing electronic warfare pods for the Strait 20 to give it accompanying jamming capability, or integrating the fire control link of the Hawk 21E anti-ship ballistic missile to extend the amphibious group's strike radius outside the defense zone. Comprehensive technology, Strategy and industrial capacity of the three factors, China's total number of amphibious assault ships is likely to be controlled in about eight. This configuration can meet the basic needs of each theater of war with one amphibious group, but also through the 076 type to realize the focus of the direction of the multiplication of combat power. Reference to the United States, amphibious alert group, standard, a 076 with 2071 with a 055 type destroyer. You can form a three-dimensional combat network covering a 500 nautical mile radius. The effectiveness of it's far more than the number of simple superposition. It is worth paying attention to is that the 076 type of continuous evolution may give birth to a new type of ship. It's 50,000 ton platform for the future to carry airborne police, 600 early warning aircraft, stealth unmanned refueling aircraft and other special types of space and may even test directed energy weapons and unmanned boat group synergistic technology. This technology verification ship attribute, making it a key node in the transformation of the Navy, just as the 055 type destroyer led the missile revolution in surface ships, 076 type may become a rewriter of the rules of air and sea integrated warfare.